Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a chevron pattern. Let's start by creating a new document. So go ahead and click on Create New. For this one, I'm going to use, we're going to switch this to pixels here. Uh, for this, I'm going to set it at 2400 pixels wide and 1200 pixels high. Um, my width is going to be twice the height uh, for this example here. I'm going to have resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Background contents is going to be transparent. And then we'll go ahead and click on Create. To start off with, I'm going to uh, give myself a guide. So we're going to go to View, New Guide. And then um, with the vertical selected here, I'm going to set it at 50%. So then we have it divided in two. And then using the marquee tool, I'm going to select M on my keyboard. It is the marquee tool here. I'm going to draw out a rectangle to start with. And then I'm just going to fill that with black. Noticing here, I'm going to set my uh, foreground and background contents to default by clicking D on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill that with the black from the foreground by hitting Option Delete or Alt Backspace for PC users. And then just deselecting here, Command or Control D. With this newly created square, I'm gonna go ahead and convert that to a smart object by right clicking and then select Convert to Smart Object. And then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that layer going right click, Duplicate Layer, selecting OK, I'm accessing the Move tool with V, and then we're just gonna drag it to the side here. So we have two uh, rectangles and um, I'll show you what we're going to do with them here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, guide layout. So we'll go view clear guides. With uh, this first one selected, we'll just bring it to the top to be um, here at the top. And then I'm just going to double click on my smart object. So then it brings me here and then um, I'm going to get rid of the guide here as well. So I can uh, turn off my rectangle here and now we are going to start our chevron pattern by creating a diagonal line across the uh, rectangle here. So let's access our line tool um, under shapes. You can do that. Uh, the keyboard shortcut for shapes is U. And then uh, my line tool is already selected, but if you ever want to toggle between them, you can hit uh, Shift U and it will uh, toggle between the different areas. So now that we have our line tool selected here, coming to uh, the bottom left corner of my canvas here, I'm going to hit the Shift key and then just drawing out to get that uh, 45 degree angle here and then just extend it here. And then under Properties, and you can get this under um, Windows, and then select Properties here. I'm going to, um, under the Appearance area, I'm going to change Fill to No Fill. And then I'm going to select Stroke as Black. And then I'm going to increase my stroke here to, uh, let's do uh, 400 pixels. And then select OK here. So we have the start of our chevron pattern here. Um, but for this, I need to uh, duplicate this layer and then we're going to add it to our corners so that we have created a basically a line pattern. Back in the layers panel here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, before that I do that, I'm going to uh, convert this to a smart object as well. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate this layer clicking on OK. And then I'm going to go up to Filter Other Offset. And then uh, for this offset filter, to add it to this corner here, um, the settings are already set there, but I needed to move uh, the line horizontally um, half the canvas. So our canvas was 1200 by 1200 for this square. So then it needs to move um, backward 600 pixels and then upward a negative 600 pixels. Um, vertically, when you go up, you move negative, And then when you go down, you move positive. So in this case, we had negative 600 horizontally and negative 600 vertically. And then we can click on OK there. And then we need to add it to this bottom corner. So let's go ahead and just duplicate that layer here. And then we'll double click on this offset filter. And then we will do the opposite. So we'll do 600 pixels to the right. And then we'll go as 600 pixels vertically downward. And then we'll select OK. 
So now that we have the basis of this line, which is going to help us create our chevron pattern, I'm going to go ahead and save this. So Command or Control S, and then we are going to close out of this smart object. So let's go Command or Control W. And then right now we just have lines. So we are going to come to uh, this second layer here, and then we need to uh, flip it. So we are going to go to Edit transform and then we are going to flip it horizontally so now we have our chevron uh, pattern here let's go ahead and turn on the pattern preview mode just to see it in a larger scale so we'll go to view pattern preview and then we'll go ahead and zoom out Commander control with the minus key here and you can see that we have our repeating chevron pattern we're going to go ahead and define this as a pattern. So we'll go to edit, define pattern. Uh, you can give your pattern a name and then just click on OK here. And then what you'll see here in my patterns panel, our newly created pattern here. So now I want to um, just kind of explain why I chose to create my chevron pattern this way. So if we jump back into our uh, smart object here, and then we are going to go back down to this diagonal line and then we'll click into the smart object here as well and then i'm going to click over to the properties panel and then i am going to uh, just change the uh, width of this line so let's go ahead and try something smaller let's go ahead and do 200 pixels and then we'll save this so we'll go command or control s and then we'll exit out command or control w and then we'll do the same thing for this command or control s command or control w to exit out of it and now you have a smaller um, chevron pattern with a different thickness between the different chevrons so by using the smart object for the diagonal line and to create this pattern you can easily change um, the thickness of this chevron by going back in and changing the thickness of the line there. So let's go ahead and take this one step further. We'll pop back into our layers panel here. So let's double click back in. And then in this layer here, let's go ahead and duplicate this diagonal line. And then I'm going to rotate this. So let's go to, um, we'll click Command or Control T on the keyboard. It will bring up our controls here at the top. And then let's go ahead and rotate this. Let's go a negative 45 degrees so we can get it up and down. And then select OK there. And then just accessing the Move key, we're gonna hit V on the keyboard. And then just bringing it to the side until we see the guides pop up there. And then uh, let's go ahead and duplicate that as well. And then we'll bring it to the other side here. And then I'm just going to zoom out just so I can make sure I'm getting the right uh, spot there. Okay, now that we have it aligned uh, to the side here, let's go ahead and save it. Command or Control S, and then we'll go uh, Command or Control W to exit. And now we have a new chevron pattern. So let's go ahead and define this pattern as well. So we'll go Edit, Define Pattern, and then clicking on OK. And then let's go ahead and test these patterns in a new document. So let's go to File, New, uh, this time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, um, 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Uh, this time I'm going to use artboards and then we'll have our background content set to transparent and then go ahead and click on create. So in this artboard, we are going to add a, at first a, an adjustment, a solid color adjustment layers. And then this is going to be our background, so we'll just set it to white for the moment. So F, F, F to access white. And then next we are going to use another adjustment layer, this time a pattern adjustment layer. And then we'll select our newly created uh, chevron pattern here. And then let's go ahead and double click here, and then we will scale it down um, a little bit smaller here, just so we can see it on our uh, digital scrapbook paper here and then we'll select OK. And then I'm going to add one more solid color adjustment layer 
um, and then just selecting OK. And then we are going to create a clipping mask. So we will, you can do that by right clicking and selecting Create Clipping Mask, or you can click between the layers and press Option or Alt uh, click to um, create the clipping mask there. So now we can easily uh, change the colors here. So if we select our background layer, um, accessing my swatch panels here, just select a color and then I can do the same thing for the uh, other line here. So we have our first pattern of our chevron and so now we are going to test our second pattern. Um, in this case I'm going to create a new artboard. So to access the artboard tool here you'll come to the move tool right click and then you'll see the artboard tool here and then you'll see that it changed here. When you're using artboards, you can just click on the artboard that you want, and then you'll see these plus icons um, added to the, the canvas area, and you can just click on it to uh, create a new artboard there. I'm gonna go ahead and um, undo that, so we'll go Command or Control Z. In this case, I want a duplicate of the artboard I already have. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. So let's go Command minus here. Um, you wanna make sure that the artboard is selected and then you'll select Option for Mac users, Alt for PC, and then you'll just click and drag and then you'll get a duplicate of that artboard there. So we, with our new artboard, we can select the pattern layer and then we can select our other pattern here. And then uh, we could change up the colors if we'd like, uh, maybe make that white so they're kind of a coordinating colors here. So now we have our two uh, papers here. Uh, okay. And then to save this as digital scrapbook paper, we're gonna go to File, Export, Export As, and then you will select uh, both of these layers here and you'll see your two um, digital scrapbook papers here. And then on the under file settings, you can change the uh, file format. Um, in this case, we're going to leave it as JPEG. And then you can also change the quality. Typically for digital scrapbook paper, you do want a higher quality. So let's go ahead and select excellent here. And then you can just see the image size um, is the 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. And then um, select embed color profile and then click to export. And then you can select the file that you want to save it to and then just select open there. And then Photoshop will automatically save those two files of your digital scrapbook paper. So if you're creating a digital scrapbook collection, using artboards is a nice way to uh, visualize the different papers you have. And then you can export them all at once instead of exporting each one one by one. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a chevron pattern using smart objects. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.